at the end of the day, I want to be the best I can be. So I've set goals to break the 10 second barrier, to be the fastest Australian ever. I'm out there every day to better myself, every day, bettering myself. Jared Geddes is on course to become the fastest man in Australia. The 19-year-old 100-metre sprinter from Sutherland in South Sydney finished sixth at the World Youth Championships in 2011 and has gone from strength to strength since. Now the anchor for Australia's 4x100 relay team, he came to the attention of co-manager Hayden Knowles through a TV programme aiming to find the hottest prospect in Australian sprinting. Search for Australia's fastest man was a, a concept around the fact that Australia hasn't had an Olympic finalist since 1956, since Hector Hogan won bronze in, in Melbourne. We've come close, Matt Shervington was one spot off. The stadium back here at Sydney Olympic Park went off. 100,000 people went crazy as they introduced Matt Shervington for that semi-final. If Australia can have somebody on that field when billions of people watch the 100 metre final, this country will be, will be crazy for it. Whoever that person may be will be a superstar in Australia. Australia's current national champion is Josh Ross, who at 33 is entering the twilight of his career. Looking to the Rio Olympics in 2016, now is the time for the country's young bloods to stake their claims. Not only does Jared believe that he can make the games in Brazil, he's also hoping to become the first Australian in 60 years to make the final of the men's 100 metres. You have to believe you can do everything. Um, you know, mind is everything. If you don't believe it, you can't do it. Um, dedication. You have to be committed. You have to be doing it day in, day out, all day as well. You know, it's not just doing that one session really hard for one and a half hours and then going home and forgetting about it. At the same time, you have to love it. <laughs> it's a tough sport if you don't love what you're doing. So you've got to be able to come out there and push yourself hard in those like endurance sessions and then come back away from it and going, I love that. Because I don't think if you, if you can't love that, you're not going to make it. Francis Christophe Lemaitre is recognised as the only white athlete to have run the 100 metres in under 10 seconds. Currently, Jared's personal best for the distance is 10.30 and for the 200 it's 20.59. He acknowledges that he has a lot of work to do if he's to bring that time down. Jamaican Xavier Brown is his coach. It's all about hard work because um, sprinting is, is, is an art. It's, it's a great technique, but if you don't have it, you, gotta, you, you have some people who, have, who come, you know, they have natural talent. Some people have to work extra hard to get that. So it's all about what you're willing to do as an athlete. Because it's not only what your coach tells you to do makes you a better athlete. It's what you do on your own. 300 today. Oh. Ah, Xavier Brown is one of two men who work with Jared here in Australia. Having developed under Sydney-based coach Michael Dooley from the age of eight, Jared was introduced to Xavier last year whilst participating in a training program in Jamaica. It was a meeting that changed both Jared and Xavier's careers. Hayden Knowles persuaded the Jamaican who trained under Usain Bolt's celebrated coach Glenn Mills to return to Australia with him. Jamaica was an absolutely crazy experience, not only for the benefits that I got in myself and then my training purposes to actually get quicker, but also you know the cultural difference and then realise how they live each day compared to us and how that makes them successful. You know, it was a massive eye opener um, going there and seeing what they do day in, day out because they want it so bad. And that'll stay with me for the rest of my life, that experience. By taking Jared to Jamaica in January of 2013, the experience he had was priceless. It changed him. And what I found, that power of that inspiration of being and living and breathing like the Jamaicans do, the effect that it had, well, I can't take him there full time, but maybe I can bring Jamaicans out here who are willing to share. And what I found, Jamaicans are proud to share their knowledge. They are proud the Jamaican way.
You know, they love the fact that that we have so much respect for them and they, they want to share it. Jared comes from an athletics family and shares many of his track sessions with sister Sam, who's also a sprinter. She's watched on as Big Brother has trained with the fastest men on earth and even raced against them. At the 2013 London Diamond League event, Jared lined up with Usain Bolt for the final leg of the 4x100 relay. Australia's fourth placed finish there was a strong showing, while Jamaica won in typical style. The Caribbean connection now runs deep, as Usain Bolt's manager, Norman Pert, has also taken on Jared as a client. For Coach Brown, it could be the start of something special. It's just about to, to make other people successful in life. Um, it is an uh, overwhelming feeling just to have somebody competing out there and they say, yes, I'm doing this good. Um, you know, it's also it's a wonderful feeling. Never tell yourself you can't. If you fail once, get up, brush off, and try again. Because it's never too late for a shower rain. Sky's the limit. Jared is balancing his track career with a degree in exercise science at Sutherland University. The study of physiology has informed much of his exercise regime and also his technique on the track. However, the demands of being both a student and athlete can take their toll. It's very difficult. I think time management needs to be really spot on to get the best out of both worlds. Um, having said that, there's days where I struggle trying to fit it all in or trying to be motivated, you know, go to the track, bust your balls, and then, then come back and sit down and study for two hours. Um, it's difficult, but you've got to be committed at it. So I think, I believe I am, so I do well there. Although Jared's schedule may be hectic, he takes his opportunities to unwind when he can. Pet dog Nala is a constant companion and will often accompany him at the track. Jared's discipline and self-belief are amongst his strongest attributes, and his team are confident that along with his raw talent, they will see him over the line. He has a lot of potential. Um, Jared, he works really hard. Um, he set his mind at a target not a big one, but you know, something that can be reachable for now and then, you know, gradually. And that's, that shows improvement, that shows progress in an athlete. And you know, as far as I see, um, if he continues the way he's going, um, you know, he can be, you know, one, one day a world beater. I truly believe Jerry Geddes can make an Olympic final. Truly believe it. Jared Geddes, Australia's great sprinting hope.